I'm not going to move my camera. Uh-oh, maybe not. Just waiting on some. Oh, we got somebody. Hi, thank you for coming. Let me pull up chat. I'm waiting on a few more to come in um, because we, I have a problem with my journal. But I think I have figured out a solution to my problem. And I'm waiting on coffee to brew. <coughs> hey, Melissa. You might be able to help me with my problem. My journal is too fat. Um, fluffy. We'll call her fluffy. It won't close. And you really can't. Well, I kind of sort of fixed it a little bit. But really, I had trouble embellishing it. And we're going to go over that. Um, but you really can't write in this journal. I left lots of journaling spots, but you can't write in it. Um, because it just won't open. So, that's our problem, our situation. And so, I kind of want some help. I think I figured out a solution. Um, after watching a couple of videos where somebody said they had the same situation and their solution. And I like their solution. Hi, Trish. That's what I did, Melissa. I took out this middle signature right here. And I left the threads because I still can use this as a journal. And that's what Artie Mae said she did. She had a fat one and it wasn't usable. So I cut that signature out. And it's the one that I've completely embellished. But now I'm left with this big gap. However... The gap allows us to do this and makes the journal usable. So what should we do? Hi, Marina. Hi, Jane. Should I just leave the gap or should I try? And I did put a cover in the gap this morning after I cut that one out. But it does allow it to be used, which is what I wanted. Um, so... My other option is to cut these two out and make three separate journals because they are 80 pages each. Not counting these little bitty pages. Well, front and back. I believe they are. Let's see. We can count them. It's going to create the same problem because it's going to take up this space, which is what allows this to lay down. If I put another signature in there, Marina. Um, what was Melissa's idea? So a pocket. That's a great idea. I could sew a pocket in there. Um, because I don't like this gap showing that way. But I could put a pocket in. Definitely. That would still allow it to lay down because it wouldn't have to be that big of a pocket. Yeah, I could do an envelope pocket in there. So, I'm going to make that one a signature in itself because, like I said, I believe there's like 20 pages. Let's see one. And I'm not counting the little ones, just the big ones. Uh-oh. That's not supposed to happen. I can glue that back. One... This needs to be fixed. Six, seven, nine. So there's 11 big pages, which is 22 total, not counting the, the little pages and the envelope pages. 
So there's it's a big old chunky thing. So Oh well Marina, that does sound like fun. So it is not embellished. I'm still leaning toward taking all of these out and reusing the cover for something else and making them each their own like mini journals. And having three, like three sisters. Um, so I can show you what I did to the one I did take out. As far as embellishments go. Because it was completed. This one, I think, except for the back page. And is completed. And that was there because something was sticking. So, and you can see she's rather fluffy on her on her own. I left the threads because I don't want to lose my holes. And right now everything is lined up. So, to start with, we have the pocket. Well, I outlined her in ribbon. We have our pocket. I put a tab on it and stamped some butterflies. And I left this side for journaling. See, that's what my whole thing was, was this was supposed to have journaling spots, but you couldn't get to the journaling spots because it wouldn't go any further than this. Um, I'm going to put this in here since this is going to be a standalone journal. This pocket's going to go in here. And at the point when I was decorating it and I was adding the pearls and stuff, I'm like, all right, it's already really fluffy. At this point, adding stuff isn't going to affect it. And it really didn't. I mean, I was already having trouble trying. I mean, I was trying to glue stuff on with a book like this. So that really didn't affect it at all. And I'm getting a kind of a cold, y'all. So I apologize for my voice being scratchy. The weather change from Maryland to here and back again has killed me. So, and we'll just continue with a little flip through. So, the rest of the other two are going to get done pretty much like this one is. And I put these little tabs, put lace around her. And what I did, I did decorate the back of the journaling card because when the envelope is flipped over, you see that, so I wanted to make sure it just wasn't stark white sticking up there. Put ribbon around this page. I haven't... Hi, Sierra. Thank you. Never saw anybody put the little glitty, glittery stuff, or what is this called? Bling. In a journal, but I like the bling. So I framed that with bling. Added another little bird here to go with this little bird. That's probably true, Melissa. That's why I really want them to be decked out like this one is. I'm thinking just make three journals, use the cover for another, a different journal later on, and just have like three sisters. Three separate journals that can all be individual. This, you can't see it. It's got some really thin sheer ribbon on it right there. Some little... Uh, Put in some little butterflies and another little tab up here. And this long pocket. Now, the long pockets I got from Artie Mays, they're free printable. And I don't remember the ladies came from, I believe, Michelle Scott. And the long tags also came from Artie Mays as a free printable. And I'll put her information below. And I have found a stamp. Well, actually, while I was gone, my daughter-in-law gave me a stamp that looks like lace. So to save some lace, I put the stamp down here in the little corners. Another bird. Put pearls around her. I just put a piece of ribbon over that. Put the ribbon on my tag and added a bird. Ribbon. Some more of the sparkly, glittery stuff. I love that. I love that. And it doesn't fall off like glitter, but it's very pretty. 
I'll put another little tab up here. That's the little pull out, and I put little pearls here. And I stamped a butterfly. And I put the, the lace ribbon there. Here, I just, this I um, was a journaling card I printed out from Michelle Scott. I trimmed it in ribbon, put the little flowers on it, added little pearls on the corners. And I trimmed her in little teeny tiny ribbon. Back of this book page, we did not, we had not embellished something. So the other day I sat, and, or we only embellished the first signature. I went back and embellished all three since I've been back. So I've been busy, even though I haven't been on. And that's what I did to that page. Here I put the little lace ribbon, another little tab, and a butterfly in the corners. I added these ladies and some flowers. I added that little music card. And I added some ribbon to the edge of that page. A bird, the lace stamp, and corners. I like the middle the way it was. It is still tied because I was able to cut it from the back side from the book. And I'm not going to pull that out yet. Because right now it's holding this signature together. And my holes are all lined up. I put those little butterflies in there. The little bird. Some flowers. And I put flowers down this side of this card that I made. A little tiny pocket with a tag in it. And a butterfly on that page. And another little tab. Some roses. I'm, she's got ribbon. On the sides of her, another one of those long tags. Lace on that one. Some ribbon here and a bird. I put pearls around her. And a little tab. I just added a flower. She's on, put her on the music page. See, because things that I didn't think were journaling, it would be hard to journal on. That's what I mainly wanted to decorate. This one's just got three little butterflies, but still plenty of room. On this one, I painted the key. I think I was going to put ribbon around that, but I decided not to because it's a small page. So I kind of left that one alone. She's got pearls and that. And these ladies also came from, they're loaded up in my Facebook page under the journal album, I believe. They may not because they may have come from Michelle Scott and it was four ladies together and I cut them apart to go on the fronts of the envelopes. And then another little journaling place. Put her on the back of the envelope. This one has a journaling card and a tag in it. And then put some bling around her picture. And there's that little bird. Stamped a bird and put the butterfly tab. I put ribbon around her picture, and I had to twist it to get it to lay correctly. And lace down the side. Uh-oh. Butterfly got bent. We'll unbend it. I'm going to glue his little wing down, and then he won't do that again. There. Nope, not there. I need to put a little bit more glue than that, maybe. There we go. Hi, Mama Boo. Welcome back, Trish. There, now his wing will stay and it won't get bent. Where did my little pin go? And I put lace down the side of that one, or ribbon. Oh, and there's this bird. I painted around the edge of this one, and I need to go back and clean that up a little bit. Um, put a little butterfly on there. And it's got a little journaling card. That's just glued down. And there's lace with a little tab. I put ribbon on the top of these two tags and put them in that pocket. 
just a journaling card, an envelope that I got from Artie Mays as a free download. And I thought it would look good in our journal. And I want to do something more to this, which is why, no, this was here because that was trying to stick. Some ribbon down here. Stamped a little bird on the back, put look, some ribbon on there. And the bling. I have not finished the back cover, but I do want to put, since it's going to be its own journal, I'm going to make another cover for it. And I got my cover material and everything picked out. And then I think I'm going to do the same thing. Take the other two out, make them into their own journals as well. So we're going to end up with three different journals. So being that I have never embellished a journal before, does it need, well, I, it does not need more. I was going to ask, does it need anything else? I don't think it really needs anything else. But how does it look to y'all? Because like I said, this is my first journal, which I know now um, not to put that many pages in one, not to make it that fluffy. So it was a learning experience, but I did get three. I think I'm going to get three really pretty usable journals out of it as opposed to one gigantic fluffy one. <coughs> Thank you, Mama Boo. We're dancing on the ceiling because it knocked me offline. Let me rotate. Where's the camera rotation button? I don't, okay, y'all. You is knocking me offline. Let's see if I can stay this time. Thank you, Melissa. And it's not, I mean, I'm on 4G, so it's not my internet. And I'm not on Wi-Fi. But the app keep it said app closed. Um, so that's YouTube. So, but it does let me come right back. So that's a good thing. <laughs> so that's what I think I'm going to do. So we're not really going to embellish anything today. I am going to try to get the other ones to look like this one, but I'm going to make a cover for this one first. So I don't lose where my holes are and they're lined up. And then I'm going to work on the other two. And getting them covers. Let me go set. Let me set that one aside because I did the last time we were on. We what we did was we put all of this. We put most of the stuff in the first one, but I did go back and add some things like this pocket got put in with its little tabs. I put the lace here. I put our covers. I think they were already in. I just added some more embellishments throughout. I still got to put holes in there. I added these lady cutouts, and they were a freebie from the internet. And I fussy cut them out at the hotel. So we're just going to flip through here real fast. Because I added some more embellishments. And got pages stuck together. That's an Artie Maze pocket. I added these ladies to that page. And I added those ladies in the teacup stuff. I took fussy cutting. I find fussy cutting relaxing. So I took stuff with me to the hotel to fussy cut while I was at the hotel. As a way to relax from getting out of the car. And that's a little tuck spot. No, Brenda, and I'll show you what we decided. Here's the thing. You weren't here just a minute ago. It's going to become three individual journals because this was in here. And you can't open the journal with that in there. Thank you, Jane. So you can't open her and you can't journal because it's just too fluffy. So... I decided, and then also when I came on here, I asked questions, and Melissa suggested removing a signature. So I had already done that, but I don't like this gap, 
And once I get these decorated, I could end up with the same problem. So I'm going to end up with three very cute signatures or b journals. And um, they're going to be three sisters. We were right past the middle. So I'm going to get us back there. Okay. I know we were past the middle. Little tuck spot there. On that tuck spot. I fussy cut the flower out and put it on that little page. And fussy cut those flowers. Just added that. Jane, what do you mean? Oh, Brenda's a Hobby Lobby. Oh, that is a fun place to be. And then with their sales and stuff going on, this is one of the envelope pages, and it's got a pocket on both sides. Because when I put her on, we made a pocket. Put a bird here and that there. We did that online. I added this tuck spot and put this tag in, added the heart, because none of our envelopes were decorated yet, or just one this side was, but not this side, so I added the heart and the rose, and there's that tag, added that journaling card, we already had those in here. And that's the end of that one. And then on this one, I just did the same thing. I went through based on the first one and kind of decorated them the same. So I added her. She's a fussy cutout. And I colored those. They come black and white. I colored them. And then I added these two ladies to there. Does that? No, that's a page. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, doesn't that flip? No. And I added her. And this is one of our envelopes that got added on our map page with two tags. And there's that card. And I put the thing on the back of it again so the white wouldn't just be sitting there. Added those in this oval. And that lady. This one wasn't decorated at all. So all of this I added since we were in the journal last. Added that little journaling card, but I glued it down. These tags, this is a uh, part of the map paper. Um, when I was looking at my map paper after I dyed it to decide which ones were going to go in the journal, I found some of them had really pretty pictures on it. This being one, and I thought that would make the, a great back for a tag. So I used the back of the map here as the back of a tag let me tuck that back in its little pocket so this still needs to have all its little lace and other stuff added some cut out flowers more ladies another bunch of roses i cut out another one of the artie maze envelopes and i am going to put her information below that's a different lady of the four and that's just a little postcard with a little picture tucked in and little tidbits of paper these ladies, she has a puppy and she has a kitten, so I put them together. Hi, Rebecca. I'm going back through chat now. Yes, Mama Boo, this is my very, other than a tiny toilet paper journal, which I just slid the pages in and did nothing. I took it in my purse and wrote lists in it while we were gone. This is my very, very first journal. Thank you. And 
And here's another one of those map pictures from the back of the map paper that I thought would look good on the back of a tag. This is actually the old, and it was an Alabama map. This is the old Alabama theater. Um, it is gorgeous in this theater. Behind this curtain is an old piano with it's got or organ. It's got all the little pipes and everything, but it's all real ornately painted and everything. And here's the seats. So I thought that would make a good backing of a tag. And then we put these in. Here I put pictures on the little tiny map pictures. I added a journaling card that I glued down with a lady on it. And just added that there. And Because once they're embellished, they're going to look like this one. Which, when it was sewed in, it was not a usable journal. Because you can't write on here. So... That's why this one's been removed. I did think about just for a moment leaving this open, but I don't like that open space there. I could put an envelope in there, but again, when these are embellished and they're out like this, if we have the two of them, I could run into the same problem. I mean, right now it'll lay flat, but once this is embellished, it's not going to. So I'm going to end up with three sisters. And I'll be able to use this cover for something else because the cover will still be usable. And I'm going to go so the next time I come on there will be three different journals. The other two will hopefully have their own covers. And then because I know Amber wanted to see how to put the lace in the triplets. Yes! That's what, I, that's what I'll call them, Melissa. We'll call them the triplets. Um, Amber wanted to see how I put the lace in. And my desk right now, if y'all could see my desk, I've got glittery. I've got the, the bling in different colors. I've got ribbon everywhere. I just, it's a mess. But in order to have access to everything, it's all got to be out. So when I come back on, which will probably be, this is Tuesday. I've lost track of days. We've been home. We got home last when did we get home? Last Wednesday, late, like 7 o'clock. I did film us coming up the mountain. I recorded it. Um, YouTube only lets me do 30-minute recordings, and it went over, so YouTube ate my video. But I recorded us coming up the mountain. What I may do, even though it's not the same thing, we're already here, um, is have Nick take me back down the mountain. <laughs> Um, to the Texaco station so I can film coming back up because we live on top of the mountain and it's gorgeous up here and y'all missed all of the scenery because YouTube ate my video because when we got to Alabama it wasn't raining and but my signal was in and out so I knew when we got to the mountain and that's why I hit record was hopefully it would record it I didn't know you could only do 30 minutes and I could upload it and that way the signal wouldn't matter. But YouTube only does 30 minutes. So the next time, I'm going to do it again. And we're going to record it on my phone and not through YouTube's record function. Hi, Sue. So I'm going to go grab a cup of coffee real fast, y'all. Well, actually, I think we're done. Um, unless y'all have any questions or suggestions or anything. I know Amber was planning on going live in about an hour, maybe. Or we can just sit and chit chat. I feel like I'm out of the loop because I missed so much going on while we were on vacate. Well, vacation, not vacation. So I'm going to step across the kitchen and get coffee. I'll be right back.
Almost done. See things happening in chat. Let me look at chat real quick. Oh, cool, Melissa. Flocker assignments. I can't wait. I look forward to this day every month. The day we get our new Flocker friends. Okay, we can chit chat. I need to make the feathers. Um, I kind of fell asleep during Melissa's video on the feathers, so... Truth be told, I have to go rewatch. I think two inches by five inches, and they need wire. That's as much as I can remember. So I'm going to need to rewatch it because I want to mail her some feathers for her clock. Um, but being out like that and only catching little bits of lives here and there not really having time to watch any YouTube and I'm addicted to YouTube. Okay, Melissa, let me, I have a pen and I have some paper. <laughs> Somewhere I have paper. Okay. Pull that back. Two to three inches wide by five to eight inches long. Okay. I'm sign it on the spine. And we're dancing ceiling again because you too quit. But it let me come back. Bad signal, Brenda. Okay, so Sue, I need to get the nicknames right. So Sue nicknamed me and Brenda. So she's the brat Brenda. Now I know how to greet her when she comes in somewhere. The brat. Brenda brat. Okay. Cool. Now I know. Well, I was just wondering if I was the quote unquote good Brenda. What was she? Now I know she's the brat Brenda. Oh, no. Who do you have to nickname now? Actually, she is bad. <laughs> I kind of figured, but I wasn't going to say anything. Brenda, if you can hear us in Hobby Lobby, what are you getting? Oh, another feather. Yeah, I was going to make a few and let Melissa pick out which ones to put on the clock. And then she can do whatever with the others. This is true. Also, Brenda P and T can be trouble, in my opinion. So, I'm going to grab the back of a sheet of paper that I'm not using. So, Melissa, since I have you here, and we're just talking, the feather, because I need to know this, feather shape is like roughly... And I'll measure, this is going to be totally unmeasured and just sketched, and I'm a horrible artist. <laughs> yeah, they share the Mountain Dews. So let's see, a feather shape. <clears throat> Brenda, I'm not going to read that out loud. This is true, too. So, Melissa, if you can see, is this what we're... Now, that's not wide enough, I don't think, by any stretch of the imagination. I have a ruler if I can get my hands on it. Oh, it is wide enough. That's cool. Well, 
Yeah, it's a little over two and a half, or right at two and a half. This might be my template, and it's like eight inches, a little over eight inches long. I have to shorten my feather. You're braver than I am, Melissa. <laughs> that's not quite eight inches, but I think that's a good feather. And then you would lay the wire in it, put another one on top, and then cut the edges how feathers look. Okay, that's I'll use that. I'll put that aside. Template. I like templates. Which pictures, Sue? I'm lost again. So... Oh, yeah, they have awesome molds at Hobby Lobby. I can get in trouble in Hobby Lobby. It's a good thing it's 30 miles away. I have to think about it before I get in the car and go. And the same with Michael's. Michael's is 30 minutes in the other direction. However, there's a Hobby Lobby in a Tuesday morning by Michael's. <laughs> but I still have to think about what I'm doing before I go. But online shopping is a whole other story. So, what has everybody been up to since I've been gone and out of the loop so much? I know Melissa's working on our flock friends right now. And I finally got my last two flock or friend journal pages done. My flock friend journal is looking like these little puffy, puffy ladies. But it's got so many empty pages in it. Because I've only had 12 partners so far, I think. No, 11. And so I only have 11 pages done, but it's very fluffy. Making messes. Messes are great. Oh, wow. Caller ID. That's funny. Well, not really, but. That is weird. Yes, Mother's yours is exploding. Mine is not far from it. It's, okay, I dropped things. Um, it was the alcohol spray bottle. Oops, I meant to do that, as, as um, Rebecca would say. This is my flocker friend journal. And, um, let me see if I can raise the camera up a little bit. No, it wants to sink back down. But this is mine. It only has 11 pages. All of this is available. I'm going to start putting some in the back with Carrie Ann. But it's like gigantic. And there's empty pages up here. But it's gigantic. Oh, Melissa, you didn't get to see my creepled, this sort of creepled rooster. Brenda sent me this rooster. However, this is not his original head. There was a second rooster head that came in my friendship flock stuff last month. And so I put this head on this rooster. <clears throat> this is my steampunk page and I've never done steampunky stuff. Oh, the tickets are falling. The tickets are falling. The tickets are falling. 
them all back in their pocket. There. All tucked in. So, it's getting to be rather fluffy, but I like it. Set it aside again. Bye, Trish. Oh, playing with fairies. That sounds like so much fun. And I have plans once I get these, now that we're going to do the triplets, when I get the triplets done, I have a Rebecca, a Sunnybrook farm book, which I did look up copyright on that. Um, the author died in 1923. The book was first published in 1903. It is all copyright free public domain. So I'm going to alter that book, but I'm keeping some of the book intact. So I've been watching some tutorials on how to do that. And I downloaded some copyright free images from the book itself. Bye, Trish. Have fun playing with the fairies. And um, so that's one journal that I'm planning on. And I have a purple journal that I want to make. And let's see, there's a purple one. Um, I have an idea for one to kind of honor my dad. He was in the military. He was retired military, um, military intelligence kind of thing. So I have an idea, but that one is on the back burner. I'm not sure I can make that one. I have an idea, but I just am not sure if I can do that yet. Um, but it's an idea. And then... I keep finding puppy and kitten things. So I'm thinking I just want to make like a puppy and kitten glue book. A thing to glue. Because puppies and kittens are fun and they're happy. <coughs> so a thing to glue puppies and kittens in. Just a little puppy and kitten glue book. Um, so there's several different journals. I'm addicted to journals. I think my first one addicted me to making journals. I need to make some painty paper. So I know we got painty papers coming up. There's some polymer clay stuff I have to do. <laughs> yep, and that's a metal bottle from Dollar Tree, so it makes a lot of racket. But I want to do some polymer clay stuff. There's some Christmas ornaments that I want to make out of polymer clay. Um, I got the molds and stuff last year on clearance after Christmas. And so I want to get that started. Um, I got to find my Christmas napkins. I'm supposed to be making, but I've lost them. I cleaned up my crafty area and lost my Christmas napkins that I made Christmas stuff with last year. And they're from Germany. And so the lady that sent them to me, Wanted me to make her a set of the popsicle stick ornaments. I had a napkin left to do that with. And now I have lost my one napkin. But on top of that, I lost a whole pack of napkins. So maybe they'll all be together. And wherever napkins go. I know I shouldn't have cleaned. I knew right where they were before I cleaned. And then I decided I needed to organize because it's a small house. And, yeah, now I can't find stuff. It's like while we were gone, my niece, my great niece came over to my mom's and she has three children. And I'm like, mother, they can't be at my house. I mean, mother lives right next door. And um, so she came to stay with mother. They went to Denmark, probably. And, um. I said, Mother, you know the girls can't be over to the house because I said, I got the big table, this table that we're crafting on. I got it put up. <laughs> right, right, Marina. So I got this table put up and I'm like, Mother, because I have two TV tables and a corner desk that has no light and nowhere to put the camera because it's like a 36 inch card table. And I can't craft on that. Um, I said, so you know they can't come over, Mother. I said, because I got the crafting table put up, but I still have 
my stuff everywhere. I've got the two TV trays and I've got the corner table and I really don't want the little girls in my stuff or messing up, you know, getting into stuff they shouldn't. They're, they're sharp objects. So she said, I know, I know, because they were going to come feed the dogs or Shauna was. And Shauna threatened to kidnap my Muffet. My Muffet's the little bitty one with the three inch legs. And um, they she threatened to kidnap her. She came and fed them one day and I said, well, at least Muffet was still here when I got back. Hi, Katrine. How are you? We're just chit-chatting today. She always threatens to take Muffet. She wants to put her in her purse and take her home. I'm like, you'll bring her back. She's spoiled. You'll bring her back. So. But I still, even though I clean because it's such a small house, there's craft stuff. I have had a craft explosion. Yeah, Katrine, how, you had the doctor thing today. How did that go? Oh, my. I was watching one of your videos, and I got that you had hurt something and had a doctor appointment, so they did x-rays. Do you know what the, ex the outcome of the x-rays was or were? That always confuses me. A new doctor. That's kind of cool sometimes. Oh, and y'all, my husband, my grandmother was a quilter. And Granny, when she died, had these boxes of quilt squares. I inherited one of those. I don't quilt, have no idea what to do with this. But I was thinking I could use some of them in journals. As journal covers, embellishments. So my husband, last night, Got me out Granny's box. Now, I do have one quilt top in there that I'm trying to figure out how to back. I have no idea what to do to back it. Um, it's a completed quilt top for a pretty, like a double bed, queen size bed that she did. So, I have that, but I also have a bunch of her little scraps or fabric. And it's already cut into shapes like I have. I don't know what shapes. I have to open it. That might be something to go through one day on here. Go through Granny's quilty things. Because I don't know what all's in that box. But, Melissa, you might be a good one to help with the, what do I back it with? I was told, someone told me, go get a flat sheet and some of the batting stuff and back it that way. Um, I just don't know what to back it with. Or a blanket and a sheet and put them together. Um, it's a really nice quilt top. have no idea what to do with it. It's in a box right now because I don't know. It's in, well, it's in a tote, um, airtight tote. And Granny's been gone for 15 years, maybe. 15 to 20 years, Granny's been gone. And so this stuff is just sitting here, and I don't know what to do with it an old bed sheet katrina okay now what about what to put in the middle between quilt batting and then i need to get a sewing machine right because i don't have one of those either <laughs> and grannies are all hand quilted she hand this was before she got sick and couldn't with her parkinson's anymore but this is one that's hand it's all hand quilted um, but I know I'm going to have to machine quilt the rest of it because I can't. Some of my favorite memories, though, are going to her house. She, my house being small. Granny's house was about this size, her and Papa's. And us girls would go to her house. In the middle of her living room floor was one of those quilting, one of those quilting, um, what are they called? Quilt things? I don't know what it's called. But it would, it's the, she had the quilting, that quilting thing and... We would sit and help her hand her pieces to put in her quilt on that qu quilting frame. Um, I think is what it's called. Where she was piecing quilts and we would sit and help Granny quilt. Yes, Sue, it's the frame. 
Um, and we would sit and, hand, and look through Granny's fabric pieces. And Granny li- lived through the Depression, so she didn't throw anything away. And all of her and Papa's old clothes got cut up and turned into quilts. Which is kind of cool. So I have some of that fabric. But that's some of our fondest memories of sitting and helping Granny quilt and going in her house. And that's her whole living room floor was took up with this quilting frame. So that's probably where I get my craftiness from. It's from Granny. She's the one that taught me how to crochet. I can crochet, but it's not. I, I know a couple of different stitches. But I, I know enough to read a pattern. She did teach me enough to do that. So I've crocheted a little bit. Baby blankets and that kind of thing. Gigantic blankets for our bed. Our bed's a queen size bed. Ooh, crocheting a blanket that big, y'all. It gets heavy. Um, but I learned a lot from Greeny. And some of that, like, I think crocheting and quilting are dying arts. There's not a lot of people that do it anymore. Or I don't know a lot of people that do it. I'll put it that way. Melissa might be more knowledgeable of that than me or Katrine. Um, But crocheting is something you don't see a lot of either. And both of which are relaxing. As long as my hands don't cramp up when I'm crocheting. Aw. Yeah, I understand that. So you got to clean out when you move. I know when we moved. Oh, my. We lived in a 1,200 and something square foot mobile home. And when daddy got sick, we moved here to help mother take care of daddy. And we're living in the cabin behind her house. And we went from 1,200 square feet to 720. And we had to downsize a lot because all of that wasn't going in here. And now I'm taking care of mother. She's got some issues going on and. She can still cook some. I don't want her to cook anything extravagant. And she's bad about doing stuff she sees on the internet. Y'all, she tried to make, she actually did it, and I told her not to do it anymore. She made cheese toast in her toaster by turning it on its side and putting it on a hot pad. And then turn it, you know, she put the cheese on the toast, slid it in the toaster, pushed the button down, and it was on a hot pad. I'm like, mother. Oh, I saw it on the I saw it on Pinterest. I said, just because you saw it there don't mean you can do it. You're gonna burn the house down. So she hadn't done that, but that one time that I know of. So and I'm trying to think. So we just have to kind of watch her. Oh, use down the napkins, Brenda. And Sue crochets. That's cool, Sue. Oh, Brenda, what kind of napkins have you found? My friend in Denmark, not Denmark, that's that's Katrine. Um, I have a friend that lives in New Zealand. And Tanya gets her napkins off of, what's the name? It's not Wish, it's the other one, Allie, because they don't have shipping. She gets some really pretty napkins. And Katrine, you have unbelievably beautiful napkins. I saw Mary's napkin box. Those are gorgeous. And we can't get those here. (laughs) Tell her to use the iron. I know, like they did in the movie, um, Benny and June. I love that movie. And Katrine, I mean, I I thought about doing a search on the internet on Google for Denmark napkins just to see what I can find. Because Katrine has, I mean, there's napkins I have never seen like that. And I have a Happy Mail video to do. Speaking of napkins, I got some in a Happy Mail. And I got another Happy Mail. And so while I was gone, I do need to get my Happy Mail video done. Probably going to do that tomorrow and then come back on Saturday with the journal. Because this is Tuesday. Maybe Friday with the journals. I need to get their covers made. I have one working. Oh, and you guys, 
my husband, I have to go get a paper. He does roofing. Their shingles, I think, come in this paper that's it's it's woven. I don't know if you can see that. It's woven and it's plastic coated and it is brown backed with brown craft paper. Um this is a manila envelope cut open and stretched, so I have book cover material. And this is the other side of that material that the tile, the roofing shingles comes in. And so it's woven on this. It's not terrible either. It's kind of, well, no, I can tear the backing, but I can't tear the front. So it's kind of like Tyvek. So I'm using this to make my journal cover this time. And I have napkins that I got. Um, the one, the insert that I've already taken out. Hang on. She has purple on her, so... Oops, that's for the, one of the other ladies. This is the napkin. One of the napkins that Tanya sent. And my Happy Mail from Tanya. And I'm going to put it... I think that's, that's correct. On here. I'm making Katrine's paper stuff and um this napkin is going to go on here and then I'm going to make my journal cover from it oh wow Brenda oh Katrine that's awesome Christmas napkins oh yeah the animal sketched ones those I was when I kept seeing Mary go through those and they kept coming up, you know, the few of them, you know, what she got. I'm like, that would make an awesome journal on its own. Hi, Crafty. Did you miss what, Crafty? And I'm sorry, I don't remember your name. Hi, Kathy. Misty. That's Misty, because Misty changed her name. <laughs> so this is going to be my cover for this one. And I look at the other ladies, and the great thing is when um, Tanya sent me napkins, I have the purple one. I have this rose-colored one, which I can use for another lady. And... Another one of the ladies, since we're doing the triplets now, will have this as her cover. So all the covers coordinate with each other. It's the same napkin, just in different colors. And so that's going to be great um, when I get them done. Thank you, Kathy. No, I'm still on. We're just chit chatting. Um, we had a pro I had a problem with my journal. Being my first journal, I really have no idea. I put too many pages in it, Misty, and um, it got overly fluffy. And I'll show you what happened. It exploded. This is one signature. It had three. Let me grab the book back. So, Misty, here's what happened. This was in here, and it's not usable. It's not usable this way. I mean, I had trouble getting embellishments put in here because it just wouldn't go. There's no room. Well, it, it moves now because it's not sewed in. But, I mean, if you can imagine me trying to sew stuff in like this or put lace and stuff, that's what I was doing. And so, I watched an Artie Mays video, one of her videos from like a year ago or so. And she had made a fluffy puffy, too fluffy, like I did. And she decided to break it apart into separate journals. And I was thinking, that might not be a bad idea. So, I cut this middle one out first. Still got the threads on it, so my holes are still lined up, which is great. And then I was like, well, this would work until I embellish these. And when they get to be that fluffy, it's going to, again, have the problem of not opening. Right now it opens. So we're going to do, Melissa suggested I do three separate journals. 
So I'm going to make three separate journals out of it. Misty, how did you make a sour from a toilet paper roll? That's interesting. I have to watch that video. So now I'm going to have the triplets, three different journals. I think she's going to be, she's going to be the green napkins. She's going to be the pink napkins. And the one that's already got purple around the edge is going to be the purple roses. So I'm going to just end up with triplets, fluffy triplets. Oh, cool. And then I have ideas for other journals. So I'm addicted to journal making. This is fun. This is as much as I hate to say this. And I love making my jewelry. Um, but the thread, when I work with the beading thread, and it doesn't matter... I end up with sores on this finger where I'm holding, you know, beading and the thread just rubs the finger or where I'm threading the needle. My hand dries out, cracks, peels. It's horrible. Um, and it's my fingers from beading, which is one of the reasons I stopped beading. Oh, that sounds good, Misty. Um, but as much as I hate to say it, because I love my beading and I love my polymer clay, this is way more fun. I have more fun doing this, but I do have some polymer clay things I need to get done. And that I found paper crafting and all the polymer clay got put on the back burner pretty much. Um, so I have polymer clay things and I'm trying to figure out some ways to incorporate stuff. So, and um, I have beads that are sitting here and then my daughter-in-law went to a yard, a yard sale and got a little container full of little tiny beads. Those are going to be great for making tassels and things and dangles for the journals. Cool. I'll have to look into that. So, I think if I use my molds and I make pieces thin enough and bake them correctly to where they don't break. Um, so, if I use the Primo and bake it correctly, I should be good. But if I make them thin enough, I can still put them in a journal and it not take up a lot of bulk. Well, no more bulk than I've already added by putting flat back pearls in it. So... And I did stuff that I hadn't seen. I mean, I, there may be people out there and I just don't know they hadn't seen their videos. I put some of this stuff in there on the pages, the bling on a roll. There's some gold and some green and some purple or turquoise. And it made it in my journal because I like it because it's sparkly and glittery. 79 napkins, Brenda, or 79 what's? And then I put flat back pearls in there and all kind of stuff for embellishments. Oh, see, Misty, I need to watch some of your videos because you sound like you do stuff that's right up my alley. Oh, now you're going to, I love Payless shoes and that one's also 30 miles. I finally found one 30 miles away. Everything is like 30 miles from us. We live in the middle of, on a mountain in the middle of nowhere. Town, when I say we're going to go to town, town is seven miles away. And it has a Walmart and a Dollar Tree, which we don't go to because they have nothing. I will drive 12 miles to Springville versus the seven into town because their Walmart has more stuff. And it has, their Dollar Tree has more stuff. So... I would rather do that. 
I also need to do a Dances with Pitbulls challenge. I think I'm going to have to drop it, um, drop out. Rebecca, are you still here? Hi, Carrie Ann. I'm doing good. I'm getting a head cold from the changing weather for the drive there and back. But other than that, I'm doing great. How are you doing? Okay, Katrine. And so, I spent money when I was on my trip. That's why I think I'm going to need to drop out of the dances with Pitbull's Challenge. Um, while we were in Maryland, I watched Patty Tolly Parish. She makes clay tiles, um, polymer clay tile pieces. And she talks about Queen's Ink. I think that was me too, Kat. Plus, with me being a new crafter, I really don't have a lot of stuff to use up. I mean, new, pa new to paper crafting, I don't really have a lot of stuff I can... I don't have a stash. I have a stash of beads. I don't really have a stash of polymer clay because you, there's no point. Um, so, no stash of polymer. The only stash of paper I have is painty papers that I've made for my swaps. Um... But when we were in Maryland, I can go to Hobby Lobby and Michael's here. Well, I don't know if count if spending gift cards counts. Other than you're adding to your stash. But um, I can go to Hobby Lobby and Michael's here. So that wasn't what got me. It was the Queen's Inc. There's a Queen's Inc. in Baltimore. It's a small town mom and pop store. It's in Savage, and so we went, and they have some stuff I have not seen in any other craft stores or online anywhere, and I just may not be looking in the right places, but I did spend some money in Queen's Inc., and her prices are comparable to Michael's. She had the Tim Holtz paper dolls. They were the same price Michael's and Hobby Lobby sell them for, so, and she had some paints. I think, Melissa, that you have them. They're new. It's a um, spray, I think. She had the whole set of those. But I didn't get any of those. Because I was on a budget. <laughs> but I did find some papers that I liked to make a journal. And I bought some single sheets of paper. That is what it is. She has the Marabou art sprays in all the colors. And I think she had them for seven something a bottle. And there's right inside the, right when you go right inside the doors on the left, there's a display of the Marabou art paints and information about them and everything. So $7 is expensive a bottle for those. Oh, wow. Yeah, then that's expensive. So, I didn't get any of those. Um, I did get one bottle of Nouveau Drops in gold. She had the Nouveau Drops, and I don't think I paid more than 3 or $4 for that. But I did get some loose papers. The stamps that I want to get that I haven't seen anywhere else, she has Gibson Girl stamps. And it's like 12 to a... They're unmounted red rubber, and I think it's 12 of them. Nine or... I think it's 12, and there's two different sets. And I wanted to get those because it's the ladies' faces. And I haven't seen them anywhere else. But I also, she has an online shop. So, I'll probably be doing some online shopping. And then the other thing, we stopped at a Dollar Tree right around the corner from Nicholas and Tristan's house. Oh, wow, Jerry's. I'll have to check that out, Melissa. And that Dollar Tree... Had stuff our Dollar Tree never has. That's where I got my little butterflies. It's where I got my flat back pearls. Um, oops, my butterflies are coming off. It's where I got these little butterflies. And they're on this really cool frosted paper that I'm going to save to do something with. In true crafter fashion. And this tag. And they had flowers that matched. Our Dollar Trees never get this stuff. And when you ask them. They look at you like you have three heads and you don't know what you're talking about. Because we don't get that stuff. 
So I did spend some money on some butterflies and some flowers and I got some tags from Dollar Tree. Our Dollar Tree never has tags. So they had tags and I got some tags, just different things that we don't have available here that that Dollar Tree up there had. So they had a really good craft department in their Dollar Tree. So I may have to quit because I spent money. And then I have a husband who keeps, he's an enabler. If I say I'm running out of, say, paint, he will go when he's at Walmart or he he will, well, mainly from Walmart because I use the paint from Walmart, craft paint. He'll send me text messages. Which paint were you out of with pictures of the paints? And I'm like, well, I don't need it right now. I'm almost out. He's like, but I'm here. Which paint? And I've got these pictures on my phone of all the paints Walmart has for me to tell him what paints I'm out of because I'm not with him. And then he comes home with paint. So all along, which I had set up the, the thing that paint was not going to be one of my things I couldn't buy because I make painty paper. Oh, cool, Mama Boo. Um, so paint, glue, it was paint, glue, clay were my three things I could buy because you can't make clay products if you run out of clay. And like I said, I don't have a stash of that. So he would go buy me paint and bring it home. And he found some lacy ribbon at Walmart and brought that home. So he was spending money even though I wasn't. But he's, he's my enabler. But I think I'm going to need to drop out of that. And then, on top of that, I don't have all of my ATCs done either. ICADs. I got, I was ahead. And then, I don't know what happened. I could sit down and probably make the rest of them all. Because I made them in groups anyway. And I have ideas. And get it done. It's just not going to be done on time. I didn't make the time. Crunch. I just got involved in too many things, I think. 1684 isn't bad, Brenda, for t-shirts. When do they go back to school? Yes, yeah, Sue, life happens. But I did make it halfway, and I think I got 31 of them done. I don't even know where my iCAD, my iCAD box is right now. Again, I had to clean to go up north, and stuff got moved. And I don't know where I put it. I'll find it. Yeah, I wasn't bored with them. It's just I ran out of time to get them done and ideas because I wasn't doing the prompts. Um, however, I have ideas. I have these little monkeys I've been cutting out of magazines. You see them, the little chimpanzee ads, and I don't know what the ad is. i just been cutting the little monkeys out, and I have a bunch of little monkeys. So, I was thinking I could put them on there, but I wanted to kind of put them so in something else. So, I was torn with whether to put the monkeys on iCads or not, and I was just going to put on them... Um, my monkey, but not my circus or something. Hi, Spanky. Thank you for coming. How did We're just chit-chatting right now. How did your doctor's appointment go, if you don't mind me asking? I hope it went okay. If you don't want to say on here, just say you don't want to say, and I'll, that's fine. Oh, Wow. Yeah, Brenda, your hubby is also an enabler, from what I've heard from you. Oh, my goodness, Spanky. Have they found anything? Have they said anything? Oh, no. 
like not an alien. I was going to be funny, Spanky. I was going to say not an alien creepy, but like creepy, creepy. I'm sorry, Spanky. A baby? Oh, my goodness. That is kind of creepy. I agree, Kathy. I can't type in chat, so I'll just say I agree with Kathy. Oh, my goodness, Kathy. <laughs> Melissa, that's funny. Goodness gracious. Well, you're still in my prayers. Melissa, how's your friend? I've been praying for Fairley and his family. And how are, how's he, how's he doing? <laughs> Y'all are funny. And Spanky, I've been praying for you too. Y'all are all in my prayers. <clears throat> oh, you're welcome, Spanky. I, you know, I'm concerned with everything that you had going on. And then Kathy is hilarious. I love Kathy. I really like, I love all of y'all and your videos and everything. I'm just glad I got to come on today. And even though we're done, just sit here and chit chat and catch up. And that's something else, y'all. I don't know if I can do this or not because I'm not a morning person. But nine times out of ten, my husband wakes me up in the mornings when he's getting ready to go to work. Because we have a dog that barks her head off because he moves. Because she knows he's going to go to work. So it's more of the dog. And so I was thinking of we have this nice, really pretty lake out front. Doing like a coffee and chit chat in the morning. No crafting, just taking the phone outside because I record on my phone, setting it up to where we can look at the lake and do what we're doing right now for like, say, 30 minutes or so. Oh, my goodness, Spanky. So, when do you go back to the doctor? So, I don't know what time yet. I'm still working on it, on that. He leaves, well, next week we're not doing it because he's already told me he has to leave like next week. Well, it'd be 5 o'clock Eastern. I think he has to leave here at 4 in the morning, which is 5 Eastern, but I don't know. If, yeah, the sun should be up by then. Normally, I'm asleep. Oh, my goodness, Spanky. Well, I'll definitely be praying for you. Scroll up. Okay. Yeah, I don't like it when the people that do the x-ray spanky tell you stuff that they're, you know, and then, well, you have to wait for the doctor. Scroll up how far, Melissa, because I went back pretty far. I know, Kathy, that's why I'm saying probably not next week. Um, it'll probably be, or if I do it next week, it'll be like more like five o'clock here, six o'clock Eastern, something like that. Just an early morning before you normally would go live. Oh, my goodness. Okay, Melissa, I'm going up.
The last thing I see, Melissa, is Spanky, did you make a creeple? And then where you tell me to go up from you. How, so that's why I was wondering how far up should I go. Right, I did ask about Fairly. Oh, I'm so sorry, Melissa. I'm so sorry to hear that. Aww. I know that has to be really hard on his family and, and you being his friend and everything. I am so sorry about that. I will still continue to pray for the family because, I mean, this is a hard time for anybody going through something like that. Really hard. Definitely hard, Spanky. Hi, Joe. How are you? So, Joe, I'm going to have triplets. I'm turning my journal into triplets. We're just chatting. So pretty much everything, <laughs> just to be honest, because we're just sitting here. We've been chit chatting for about an hour. <laughs> pretty much. Um, I did cut one of the inserts, one of the journal. <sighs> I dropped something else on the floor. My table is so full of stuff. That was a lid of something. I cut the middle insert out. Or signature. My threads are still on it. Which is good because it's still held together. But it's the one that I embellished yesterday. And so, this is going to triplet number one. She's still fluffy. It's still a fluffy puffy. She's just not as fluffy puffy. So, they're going to become triplets. Right. Um, I talked to the, the, the ladies, and we kind of agreed that it needs to be separated into three individual signature booklets. And, really, I could have quadruplets because I had the fourth signature. It was supposed to have four signatures. I never put the fourth signature in it. It has holes poked. All the papers are there. It has the... Manila envelope cover and everything. It just never made it into this book because I realized there wasn't room for the fourth signature when I was putting the signatures in. So I could now have quadruplets. Yeah, I just made it too puffy. Well, I think I had a couple of issues going on from the beginning. One was I didn't like the white backing on my paper. No brown ink or anything. Can't color dye printed paper or tea dye it because inkjet ink will run. So, I backed my papers. So, even though there's 20 big sheets, it's 22 big, well, 11 full-size sheets of paper in there. It's really 22 because they're all backed. So, that's one thing. Double thickness of paper. There is some cardstock. In there, and then there's that didn't count the envelopes and the map pages and the book pages. So there's a lot of paper. I think there's about 40 sheets per signature altogether. That's a lot. And when you have three and four of those, but I do have the other the other one. I could take technically make four and have quadruplets because that one's just setting aside. So I could have four different journals, but the same, different, but the same. See, I, I missed the part where you had to split it up, Kathy, but I'm glad that I found a video where somebody else said that they had the same issue and that's what they did was split it into three different journals because 
I was at a loss as to what to do with it. Okay, Sue. Well, I know Amber's going live soon. Um, she talked about that this morning. And I don't want to encroach on Amber. I try not to encroach on y'all when y'all are live. And I haven't. I'm looking to see if that notification came up. No. Okay. So, whoops. Amber is live. She just went live. So, what I want to do is I want to go on and get off of here. And we can all go over to Amber's. Because I knew that she had planned to come on. And we're we're done. We're just chit chatting. Um, what I'll do is I'll post in the groups, Kathy, as far as the morning chit chat thing with the coffee at the lake and the time. Okay, so I'm gonna go on and end this, and I'll see y'all over at Amber's. Does anybody have any other questions or anything before we go? I should be back live either Friday or Saturday with the journal or journals with covers. All right. Bye, everybody. See you over in Amber's. Y'all have a great day. And I had so much fun talking to all of y'all.